Mr. Mayor, you should call the military right now. Demons have overtaken the city. What? Demons? Oh, I see. Again with those silly pranks, Sid. How many times have we talked about this? We should stop doing these kinds of practical j jokes. No, this is not a practical joke. It's the truth. Just get through the door. There are demons everywhere. Nice try. Sorry, Sid. Your tricks are getting old. I'm sure that if I pop up my head over there, I'd receive a pie in my face or something like that. I won't fall for it. You'll not exploit my curiosity. Believe me, demons have taken the city. Sorry, but I will not fall for that. I know you're trying to play a prank on me. You know, for being a mayor, you're pretty incompetent. I still can't believe I lost the mayoral election against you. That was because I come from a long lineage of mayors. Your slogan was terrible, and almost all your campaign proposals involved setting the town on fire. Well then, tell me a better way to stop the issues we have with the streetlights. So your tax refund policy was obviously non-viable. And according to the polls, most conservative citizens didn't like your plan of building a giant monolith to wake up the deep sea abominations to ask for assistance with the town's sewer problems. Now I know why I lost. You were pandering to the polls the whole time. You should call the military and quick. No, sorry, I'm not going to fall into one of your tricks. Come on, just call them. There are demons outside. They're taking the town. The only demon in this town is in front of me, insisting on a bad pun. You should stop doing that. You know the story of the boy who cried wolf? Yes, it's the story of a boy who cried wolf to his grandfather who immediately died from a heart attack. And then the boy becomes a millionaire due to his grandfather's inheritance. That's not the story of the boy who cried wolf. I know. But mine's much better. Look, I can demonstrate to you that this town is being invaded by demons. You can try, but I will not peek through that d door. I know you will throw a pie at my face or something like that. But the demons are everywhere. Look! Hey, demons! Are you taking over the town? Yes! Of course! No, we are not. <laughs> hey! One of them says that they're not. Who said that? It wasn't me! Sorry, I was confused. You see? They're invading the town. That only proves that you hired a group of people to yell things in order to trick me. And some of them even forgot the script. Oh, come on. What's wrong with you? Sorry, but I'm not going to fall for your tricks. I have learned from my mistakes. I've grown, and I'm taking one of these once a day. What is that? anti gullibility pills. You'd have to be very gullible to buy that kind of stuff. I, I, I know, but I didn't realize it after they started taking effect. Do you have any emergency plans in case of an invasion? Of course! How do you think we got rid of the uh, undead so quick last time you revived them? But right now, we're under no invasion, so stop insisting with your puns. I know that in the past I've done terrible things like flooding the marketplace or shooting all the people with names starting with the letter E. But right now I'm trying to help. You have to believe me, there are demons taking over this town. We have to stop them. Sorry, Sid. As you stated, you have a reputation, and I don't believe you. I, I know you're a prankster. Demons have set the town on fire! Do something! The town is not on fire. Why is everyone insisting on puns today? The town is on fire. Demons are pillaging the town. Your wife is having an affair with the mailman. Your wife is having an affair with the mailman? Of course she's not. Well, that would explain why your kids are so tall. Oh, shut up. I have matters to attend to. G goodbye Sid. May I take some of these? I've been feeling gullible lately. You don't have any idea why you want them, d do you? Nope, but I want them. Well, if that makes you happy, take it. I have more flasks like that at home. Wait, how many of these did you buy? They definitely sold me more than I needed, but 
course, you don't realize it until you start to take them. Jeez. That's so gullible. Sadly, this is not the most biased portrait I have ever seen. The mayor has a lot of boring political books. Just look at the titles. How to fight poverty in rural areas, and other fairy tales. This diploma certifies that the mayor of Darkestville has attended and finished the seminar titled Misrepresentation of Quantum Physics Mixed with Superstitious Quackery with Honorable Merits. No, these papers are too dusty. I will be sneezing all over the place if I carry them around. Llamas are so awesome. Everyone loves llamas. Too bad the taxidermy in this one is terrible with that tongue sticking out. It looks really stupid. Let me think about it. Nope, clearly it wouldn't fit in my pocket. The mayor must really stamp a lot of stuff daily if he needs that big barrel of purple ink. I don't think the mayor is going to allow me to take it. It looks like the mayor is redacting a new decree. And with this, I explicitly forbid the creation of any kind of temporal paradox, time paradox, or time travel paradox. Damn! Another restriction. I hate when the government interferes with the private sector. This diploma certifies that the mayor of Darkestville has completed a seminar titled Aliens. They don't exist and there is no conspiracy to worry about. Dictated by Dr. Zolmak Rapgala from the Third Moon of Venus. I would love to ruin the Feng Shui of this place, but I have a castle to retake. This chair looks awesome. I should steal it someday. This diploma certifies that the mayor of Darkestville has a doctorate on invisible creatures and where not to find them. I can't steal it. It has the name of the mayor on it. It reads, Anti-Gullibility Pills. Stop being easily tricked or manipulated into an ill-advised course of action. Warning, side effects may include dizziness, drowsiness, lack of credulity, and irony. Who can fall for this scam? It even expired two months ago. This is clearly a boat, and maybe this could also be a hat, but definitely never a bike. It doesn't even have wheels. It's too heavy for me to move it. I wonder who made this thing. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Wow, wow. Hey, I find that commentary very offensive. Not just because I'm half wolf. I will act like a canine. Uh, sorry, I didn't... A man should be judged by the content of his character, not for his race, color, religion, or lycanthropic condition. L look I did not... We run a time in history when we should leave our prejudices behind. Look at each other as equals, because no matter if you are born on a different country or you are thirsty for human blood, we are all the same from the inside. And when... Hey, I already said I'm sorry, okay? It seems that we started on the wrong foot. I'm Sid, Demon of Darkestville. And you are? Nice to meet you, Sid. My name is Jack Gutspiller, President of the LRA, Lycanthropes Rights Association. What does the LRA do? We fight for the lycanthrope rights on many fronts. For example, we want equal treatment. We want a positive representation of the lycanthropes on the media. And we want equal payment for equal work among others. Do you know that lycanthropes are paid 70 cents for each dollar a vampire earn? I had no idea about that. Now you know it. But the question is, 
What are you going to do now that you know the facts? Want to join the LRA? No thanks. Are you against lycanthropes' rights? Of course I am. I'm an instrument of evil. But don't worry, it's not an act of discrimination. I'm against everyone's rights equally. No, oh, I understand. We are okay then. Sorry, but I'd rather have hepatitis than to say that line. What? Nothing. I was just talking to myself. So you're a werewolf, right? We prefer the term like it. We feel that werewolf has a detrimental connotation, and we are trying to change the way people perceive us, even on a linguistic level. And yes, to answer your question, I'm a respectable member of society that happens to be a lycanthrope, and I'm not ashamed of my condition as such. So, you are a werewolf, right? <sighs> yes, I'm a werewolf. All right, cool. What are you doing outside the tavern? What, a lycanthrope can't just be outside a tavern enjoying the night breeze? No, it's not that. I was just being curious about... About what? Are you implying that because I'm a lycanthrope, I will be outside a tavern waiting for drunk people to go out so I can eat them like a mindless beast? What? No, I wasn't... Look, what I'm doing outside the tavern is my own business. You are not entitled to an explanation of my behavior, and it has nothing to do with the delicious people that are inside the tavern and will be vulnerable on their way out. Talking with you is more complicated than I would like. Do you realize that there is no full moon? I'm aware of that situation. I hope you are not implying that because there is no full moon that I should not be here. It is true that in the past we were subjugated by a system that only allowed us to express ourselves on a full moon basis schedule. But luckily the full moon segregation act was abolished a long time ago. I have to leave. Goodbye. These guys are going to allow me to do that. Hello? Hello, sir. Lovely night to play dice, isn't it? Ah! You say that just because you are on a winning streak. No, I say it because it is the truth. Oh, shut up! Let me introduce myself. I'm Frank Brokenford. My angry, skinny friend here is Don Doublehorn. And you, sir, are... I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville, known for performing evil deeds of demonic proportions. One night I even stole one sock out of every pair in town. That's very impressive. It seems like there's an argument going on between you two, right? Don't listen to him. He's embittered because he is terrible with the dice. Me terrible with the dice? I highly suspect that you are cheating all night long. Me? Cheating? Yes, you, cheating. How is it possible that you went 200 games in a row? And the only time I saw you failing, I'm pretty sure I heard one of the dice saying, I'm sorry, boss, my mistake. Please don't fire me. I really need this job. Martha's pregnant again. Do you realize how ridiculous your accusation is? Martha is too old to be pregnant. I mean, that makes no sense. Dice don't talk. You can try to make me look bad in front of him, but I know what I heard, and I'm not playing dice with you anymore. I bet I could defeat you at dice. Oh, you look really confident, my friend. Let's see if that confidence is well-founded. That's a bad idea. He never loses. Ha! That's because he's never played against me. I like your attitude. What are you going to bet? What can be gambled at dice games? Right now, I'm gambling a lot of money. Do you have any cash to match my bet? Do you accept evil card? So you don't have any cash, do you? Not at this moment. Maybe you want to bet your soul? Uh, sorry, I don't have one. I see. Your firstborn son, then. I apologize, but I never wanted to have kids. What about the flesh of an innocent person? There are not many innocent people around town. The flesh of an innocent animal, at least? I'm not sure about that. 
How do I know if it was innocent? Oh, the meat is really tender when the animal was innocent. What kind of dice games are you playing? Oh, we're playing demon dice. The Southern Hell version. The game is really simple to learn. Each player places a bet and then they throw the dice. The lowest number wins the game. I have to leave now. Hello. Hi. What happened with the usual customers? They escaped in fear when the demons entered the tavern. Hey, why did nobody run when I entered the tavern? I'm a demon too. That's discrimination. That's different. We've known you since you were just a kid. Plus, you don't have horns. That's right, but why didn't you kick them out? I was about to do so. But then the demons ordered two bottles of the most expensive wine. You can't kick out customers. I better see you. Sorry, my friend. But if you don't have anything valuable to bet on... Sorry, my friend. Sorry, my friend. Hello, young lady. What is a girl like you doing in this place at this time of the night? I totally understand that. But I'm not a stranger. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. I'm not trying to impress you. That's something I always say when I'm introducing myself. And you are? So, Betsy. I hope that now we've introduced ourselves and I'm not a stranger anymore, we could talk. What are you doing here at this time of the night all alone? I think your boyfriend Seth is taking too much time. Are you sure he told you to wait here? Okay, I was just asking. You know, you have a really bad mouth for a girl. What kind of demon are you? Of course. It is pretty obvious now that you say it. Can you help me enter my castle? No, it's not that. Hey, that escalated quickly. I was not implying that your mother was... What does that have to do with a bad day at work? Okay, I get it. Your head hurt, but... How does that connect with an elephant on a pogo stick? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention, okay? Just forget it. I guess no matter what species they are, I will never understand women. Why do you have a flan? Ah, oh, that's a good trick to win the heart of a man. May I have it? Okay, okay, I get the point. I'm not your kind of guy. Goodbye. <laughs> Your name will always be... Seems like someone has washed away all the soap off the ramp. Now it's safe to walk over it again. So here they are, my favorite demon hunters. I didn't expect to find you down here. While I do like the decoration, I think there's too much moisture in this place. 
Dan, what happened to the demon chest? All the demons we trapped are roaming free. Um, I have no idea what happened. I was guarding the demon chest like you told me when suddenly... Uh, oh yeah, now I remember. Somebody snuck up and sucker punched me. And when I woke up, the chest was open and the town was flooded by demons. You don't remember anything else? You didn't see your attacker? Nope, I'm Dan Teapot. I'm pretty incompetent. But I'm sure that if you could catch those demons in the past, you could hunt them down again, right? I don't think so. Probably the same person who attacked you was the person who drugged Walrus. Mongoose's leg is broken, and on top of that, we don't have the demon chest to capture the demons. We are screwed. We can't even go outside. All those blasted demons want revenge, and if they see us, we are doomed. We're hiding here like rats, waiting for them to leave town. But what if... what if I find the demon chest and bring it here for you? That could help, but Walrus is still sleeping, and we need his strength on the battlefield. But what if I find a way to wake him up? That would be great, but Mongoose's leg is still broken. His speed is essential for our team. But what if... We amputated the leg and just gave him one of those peg legs. Hey, I don't like how that sounds. Oh, a peg leg is super cool. You'll love it. I hear it's the newest trend. Or maybe you know a quicker method to fix a broken leg? Well, in fact, yes. We could concoct a fix bone potion. What is that? It's a potion that fixes all your bones. We use it a lot on our hunts. But it tastes horrible. You want a peg leg? It doesn't taste that bad when you get used to it, now that I remember. I have almost all the ingredients to make a fix bone potion. The only supplies missing are a purple lizard tail, some insect hair, and some salt. Find me those, and we are good to go. Wonderful. You don't have a recipe to wake up walrus, do you? Nope, but I will tell you what doesn't work, hitting him several times with blunt objects. I like your attitude. So, to sum it up, if I bring you the items to make a fixed bone potion, find a way to wake up walrus, and bring the demon chest here. Can you imprison all those demons again? Well, in that case, yes. Even if some of them are in a fortified castle? Yes, even if they are inside a fortified castle. Then we have a deal. Just wait a bit and I'll have you guys hunting demons in no time. I'm not sure if you should be that optimistic. Eh, she looks pretty nice. I still don't know if the tail is real or not. Hello. Yes? Do you have any idea how to wake up Walrus? Mm, no, but maybe you could ask at the town hospital. We don't have a hospital. Then ask the town doctor. We don't have a doctor. A pharmacy? No, we don't have any of those. What do the people of this town do when they feel bad? They die. Oh. And what if it's not a life-threatening illness? They go to the tavern and get drunk. That's it! Go to the tavern! They should have something to wake up customers! Can you remind me what items you need to make a fixed bone potion? Yes, the ingredients missing are a purple lizard tail, some insect hair, and some salt. So, you're kind of the alchemist of the group. Kind of. We are a classic demon hunter party. Walrus is the tank, Mongoose makes the damage per second, and I'm more like a healer. Do you have any good methods for opening a fortified castle door? Well, a bomb could work. Yes, I was thinking the same. By chance, do you have any kind of explosives to lend me? No, I left the explosives in my other purse. Damn it. Don't worry. If we can get on our feet, Walrus can blow away any door for you. Do you have any good methods for opening- Well, yep. No, I- Damn it. Don't worry. Do you- well, Don't- Do you know where to find the demon chest? I bet it still is at the mayor's house. But I'm not sure how you're going to bring the chest here. It's really heavy. The only person I know who can move it is Walrus. Hey, don't underestimate my strength. I've been doing push-ups lately. Or reading about it. The important thing is that I know the technique. I have other- Hello? Hey! Wake up! It's time to go to school! It's no use. He's sleeping like a log. 
Hey, what's up? How did you break your leg? I fell down the stairs while chasing the big pie raptor. I bet he put out some kind of trap. By the way, didn't you see me? I recall you were not so far away when I fell. Nope, I'm Dan Teapot. I'm really incompetent. I was distracted. By a squirrel? And that squirrel was probably helping the big pie raptor was setting a trap for me. Damn him. I will catch him someday. Are you sure you don't want a peg leg? Yes. But making a peg leg would be so much easier than making that weird potion. But I don't want to lose a leg. It would save so much time. You could even use the wood from one of these coffins to make it. Sorry, but I still prefer to have both legs. You really are selfish. Can you lend me your spear? No way. My spear and I are one. Then what if we use that spear to make you a peg leg? That way you and your spear will truly be one. Forget it. You shouldn't be so close-minded, you know. The worst risk is not taking any risks. I will not let you amputate one of my legs. Okay, I get it. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye. And good luck finding the ingredients for the fixed bone potion. Okay. That was pretty random. Mushroom fertilizer, a mime book, and a party horn. I'll take the fertilizer and the party horn, but I don't like mimes, even in books. Carrying ashes around can be really messy. I don't want Paul all over my inventory. I can't talk to that. Totally harmless eggplants. They spare no one. I even saw one of them slicing a bunch of inoffensive little tomatoes. And they were still just green. Damn them. They were just green. Everyone cheers against us. We must hide, Turnip Man. We are in grave danger. Turnip Man? Calm down, I'm not a Turnip Man. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, demon of Darkestville. And you are? Excellent idea, Turnip Man. We should disguise ourselves so they don't detect us. I would be Mr. Rodriguez, a non-vegetable and totally human gardener. That way, we could infiltrate and save as many vegetables as we can from their farms. What are you talking about? It is true. It's too much of a risk. If we're discovered, surely we will be consumed by those foul beasts. But we must find a way to resist. What are you doing in the cemetery? I'm hiding here, and you should do the same. We are in grave danger, Turnip Man. This twisted land is inhabited by unspeakable savages. They will no doubt murder any vegetable in the most despicable way. I never believed I would say this, but I miss being imprisoned in that bloody demon chest. At least there I was safe from all this madness. So, the people of this town seem to be eating a lot of vegetables. Yes, this truly is terrible. 
I have seen people performing the most gruesome of rituals. Potatoes being skinned alive, then chopped in evenly sized strips, to later be submerged in boiling oil. Can you believe it? What kind of twisted imagination could conceive such a thing? What kind of forgotten dark gods are these people serving? French fries. Terrifying. Do you have any plans to resist? The horrors I've witnessed cloud my mind. What about you? What do you think if we take the castle? And then what? The castle may be a strategic point, but supplies would never hold out against the siege. No, we should be hiding out in the open. Mobility will give us an advantage. We can even try to recruit some wild berries to help establish our resistance. What if we start implementing guerrilla tactics to save the oppressed vegetables? I would like to avenge our fallen friends. But when they realize who is attacking, they will undoubtedly revenge themselves upon our captive brothers. The harvests would be accelerated. I cannot ignore the images racking my mind. Salad camps everywhere. Rivers of ranch dressing. It would be a massacre. We must keep it quiet. What if we start sending freed vegetables to the north? I hear eating vegetables there is forbidden. I was unaware of such a haven. A boom, surely. But how do you plan to send them there? Well, I know a friend of a friend that could smuggle them out of there. Excellent. Let me think. Right now, the only one healthy enough to survive such a journey would be little Timmy. He has just turned red. Take care of this little tomato. Don't worry, I will keep him safe. Good luck, little Timmy. Luckily for you, this nightmare will soon be over. Why do you think I'm a turnip man? With that skin color and with those pointy feet, you could only be a turnip man. Of course, a white turnip man. But you needn't maintain such deceptions in my presence. We are brethren of the seed. Now that I think about it, I do look like a turnip. Uh -huh. I'm way more charming than a turnip. Goodbye. I'll go scout for wounded lettuces to save. Good luck, turnip man. And take care. I already have one bone in my inventory. I'd rather not. It reads, Nothing makes spores grow as fast as Sportron 2000. I can't use these pills there. Nuh-uh. We're traveling north, little Timmy! To freedom! Viva la revolucion! I don't know why I expected a response. It's just a regular tomato. I don't think so.
This thing is so amusing. She's not digging the grabby hands. Hello! Do you know a good way to wake someone who's in a deep sleep? Yes, but my problem is I don't have dynamite. I'll have to think of something different. Do you know a quick method to restore a broken leg? Oh, but I think my friend can't grow new legs. Human health is so complicated. I never remember what they can or can't do. But let's just discard that option. Goodbye. Sorry, my friend, but if you don't have anything valuable to bet with, then we can't play. Sorry, my friend. Hello. Hi. Do you have something to wake up a friend that accidentally took sleeping pills? still owe me money. Pay me, and we'll talk about it later. I'd better go and get some fresh air outside. See you soon! It reads, Choose from our varied menu, all at the same price. And if you're... I know the expression one I can't use these pills there. Hi guys! Hi bro! You know where we can get some good stuff? Yeah, it'd be awesome. Yeah! I have to leave. Bye! See you. Hey. Broom! Broom! Do you know that it's a crime? I was joking. I will... Pedro? Is that you? Hey, Sid! Yeah, it's me. I always told you I was a marketing devil. I should have seen this coming. No normal human could smell that bad. So you were a demon all this time. Yes! But I like to keep my profile low, demon or not. I have to make a living out of selling hot dogs, and displaying my horns would scare human customers away. Then, why are you showing your true self now? Are you kidding me? The town is full of demons at the moment, and I bet they will really be hungry. 
This is my opportunity to make new clients. What if some villager sees you as a demon? Don't worry about that. People are too worried about this demon invasion to come out of their homes and realize I'm a demon too. Besides, I already overstayed my welcome in this town. I have to go sell my products to new unexplored markets soon. Have you already had any new customers? No, not really. But I had in mind a new marketing campaign that would be more viral than the salmonella this meat has. What are you planning exactly? A refer friend system. It's a new trend on street food. How does the refer a friend system work? It's easy. I give someone a hot dog card, he gives it to his friends, and for each hot dog they buy, I give the refer one free hot dog. That sounds pretty good. I told you I'm a marketing devil. May I have a hot dog card? I knew I could count on you. Here, take this card. It already has your name on it. Have I become that predictable? Well, you are always looking for free stuff to look. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, and good luck. I prefer to keep that dog and his desire to kill him. Hey, look! I bet you'll find all the diseases you're looking for here. Oh, this is good. This place seems to have quality good stuff. Just look at this photo. You can almost see the diphtheria oozing from that meat. And that sauce looks like it's made out of pure botulism. The good stuff! What are we waiting for? Let's get going, bros! That doesn't need fertilizing. This vent is well. There's no. Also. The door is locked. To enter, I would need the assistance of someone with enough strength to break the door down. That or die. Hi guys! Did you try this? It's awesome! Yeah man, you're huge now! I'm getting smaller dude! I'm getting smaller! <laughs> look at your face dude! You look all happy with a big smile! You're awesome dude! But... But his face is... Getting bigger. You know what? I should become a doctor. <laughs> Following a conversation with them would be impossible as they are right now. Hey! Sid! Thanks! I never believed you could find such great customers. They bought a lot of hot dogs, right? Yes! In fact, I've run out of marinara sauce again. And bread. I've sold everything. Cool. Hey, if you don't have any more hot dogs, what happened to my reward? Don't worry, I still have something for you. Ta-da! Uh, sausage? It's the only thing I've got left right now. A lot of old, I mean a lot of fine sausages. What about money? Look, 
I'll give you all the sausages you want, okay? Then give me more than just one. Hey, don't be a glutton one at a time. I'll give you another one when you finish eating that one. Okay. Could be worse. Now I have unlimited sausages. I have other matters. Goodbye, and good luck. <laughs>